Hey guys, Chicky Domain to Boo.com with a Boo.com surf forecast update. This forecast update effective around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, March 29th, 2017. And here's an update on April Fool Swell 2017. Starts you off with a satellite loop of what has become X90L Invest out here near Bermuda. You can see that Although it appears that the system is moving off towards the east, it's going to bend up towards the northeast, right about where you see this little hole appear right here. So it's dipping down, and then it's going to come back up. It's probably at the closest point of where it could be classified as a tropical storm. Now, this system has gone into a negative swell production at the moment, and uh, for Florida surfers, East Florida surfers that scored last couple of days, this is the system that brought the surf. The next area that we talked about in our last video update is this other area of low pressure now that is moving out into the Atlantic, southeast, southeast of, of the Cape. These two features are going to combine into one over the next 72 hours. Latest run of the European model showing a 965 millibar low just to the southeast of Newfoundland with here comes this OBX low that we talked about. Now, here's the reason why it's April Fool Swell 2017. It appears that the strong southwest flow that's going to kick up off the mid-Atlantic in here is going to impede any northeast swell as far as size is concerned, getting in here towards the mid-Atlantic and down in here towards Florida. So Florida surfers, mid-Atlantic surfers, it looks like we got fooled for April 1st, 2017. This, this image is for April 1st. The latest out of the Ocean Prediction Center 24-hour surface forecast showing a rapidly intensifying storm force low now developing. Here's the latest Ocean Prediction Center 96-hour swell forecast. As you can see, pretty 15 to 18 second swell periods fanning out most of the swell energy heading to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and the Eastern Caribbean. And as you can see by the swell arrows just here off the outer banks coming out of the southwest pointing toward the northeast, there is some northeast trying to work its way down in here, but the strong offshore flow again will likely impede the size of making it all the way down in here towards South Florida. We'll go into a buoy watch to check it, but there is some hope in the extended forecast. And if you saw our last update, uh, video update that we posted yesterday, we stopped it at seven days. Here's the 96 hour surface forecast out of the Ocean Prediction Center showing a 967 millibar low moving towards the North Atlantic with this incoming OBX low. This wind image is for next Thursday. Give it a chance to load here. And up in here, the Euro model is showing a 50 plus knot wind area of low pressure just in here off the mid-Atlantic. Now this is going to get some northeast groundswell going. And not only is that going to get going, and mind you, there is some differences with the, the GFS model. That's why we posted yesterday there's some uncertainty. So don't hold me to this, guys. But look at this pattern that is setting up. We have strong trade wind flow coming in here towards the Caribbean. And it picks up into here and then wraps up in here towards the Gulf of Honduras. This is known to produce a Yucatan Channel gap event for creating longer period swell. Gulf of Mexico surfers, possible surf alert setting up as a strong southerly suck up. And because of this flow can create some longer swell periods coming up in the forecast. Again, this image is for next Thursday. But look over here in the western Gomex. Offshore winds coming in behind that. So that gives a shot at possible surf alert coming up for Gomex surfers. That's all we got for you for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update.